What if there's a technological advancement so powerful that it transforms the very basic pillars of our society? A technology which fundamentally influences the way that our economy, governance systems and businesses function and could change our conceptual understanding of trade, ownership and trust. This technology already exists and it's called cryptocurrency. People often think a cryptocurrency as only virtual money or a transaction system. But if you look closer, you'll see that the monetary aspect is just the tip of the iceberg. That's because cryptocurrency is a groundbreaking internet technology for which money is merely one of the possible applications. Cryptocurrency enables a network of computers to maintain a collective bookkeeping via the internet. This bookkeeping is neither closed nor in control of one party. Rather, it is public and available in one digital ledger which is fully distributed across the network. We call this the blockchain. In the blockchain, all transactions are logged, including information on the time, date, participants and amount of every single transaction. Each node in the network owns a full copy of the blockchain. On the basis of complicated, state-of-the-art mathematical principles, the transactions are verified by the so-called cryptocurrency miners who maintain the ledger. The mathematical principles also ensure that these nodes automatically and continuously agree about the current state of the ledger and every transaction in it. If anyone attempts to corrupt a transaction, the nodes will not arrive at a consensus and hence will refuse to incorporate the transaction in the blockchain. So every transaction is public and thousands of nodes unanimously agree that a transaction has occurred on date X at time Y. It's almost like there's a notary present at every transaction. This way, everyone has access to a shared single source of truth. This is why we can always trust the blockchain. And each cryptocurrency is both individually identifiable and programmable. This means that users can assign properties to each unit. Users can program a unit to represent a euro cent, or a share in a company, a kilowatt hour of energy, or a digital certificate of ownership. Automizing such matters leads to a considerable decrease in bureaucracy, which saves accountants, controllers, and the organization in general an incredible amount of time. But there's more. In an Internet of Things, our economy will be dealing with machines that actively participate in the economic traffic. In fact, they're already here. Think of a vending machine or drones delivering packages. These machines are unfamiliar with the concept of trust. Because of the blockchain, the drone can be 100% certain that it will deliver the package to the right recipient and know for sure that it's been paid for. And we can program the vending machine in such a way that it will automatically keep track of its supplies, order new supplies from the supplier, and pay for them automatically. Of course, you'll understand that this is only the beginning. Internet technology is disruptive and breaks the status quo. It opens markets and breaks the positions of middlemen all the time. The blockchain and cryptocurrencies have caused a paradigm shift. It's time to explore this new technology constructively and critically and openly discuss potential applications.